Hi, oh. Hi everyone. Well, no, no, no. Before I forget, I want to send you a little reminder. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, but hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I release my new episodes every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you like the kind of topic that I'm sharing today, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. That way I know to create more like this in the future. I'm trying new things all the time. So if there is anything you want me to cover, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Anyways, I gotta get back to what I was doing. So let's do that. Hi everyone, my name is Elise Saunders. Welcome to my channel, where we're free to be ourselves, free to share our thoughts, and free to support each other. Today I'm doing something a little bit different that I've never done on the channel before. I'm going to share a DIY on how I'm creating this regular jean jacket into a fabulous jean jacket for an upcoming music video. I'm actually at my mom's place today, so we're doing this for the very first time. Who knows how this is gonna turn out, but I'm really excited about it. Uh, you're going to see the step-by-step -step process and how I'm going to be able to create this unique jacket that I'll be able to use in music videos and at my live shows. And if you're wondering, I actually bought this uh, jean jacket at a second-hand store in Nashville. So it's come all the way from Nashville, Tennessee to my hometown of Peterborough, Ontario today. And we're going to take it apart and paint on it and put some sparkle on it. And I'm super excited to see the final product. All right, before we get into it, I did want to show you kind of what the jacket looks like and why I chose this kind of jacket. So I've been looking for kind of something looser and something that kind of had a bit of a, an older look to it, but at the same time modern. So I really like the um, slightly faded blue color to this and then it has some nice front pockets that I'll be able to paint on. And it's a little bit looser as well as straight. So it'll be fun to throw on top of different outfits and uh, it's the perfect kind of fit um, so that I can take these sleeves off and play around with it. Okay, so as my mom suggested, we're gonna show you the sparkly material that we bought here. This is just the outside of it because we're starting to pin the seams here as you can see, but this is the inside which I got from a fabric store here in Peterborough. You can see it has a nice shimmer to it. And what I really like about this is that it's kind of like a softer sequence rather than a hard sequence that hurts against the skin. This is nice and soft. All right, next step is that we're just gonna put the sequins material aside so that we can start cutting the arms off. All right, so we're gonna start cutting along the seam here. So I'm just gonna cut an opening here. And then now I'll start cutting from the top and around. Make sure that you have super sharp scissors to do this. We just bought some brand new ones. My mom's taking a shot at the other arm. Say hi, mom. Hi. Just cutting around. There's one of them cut out. Woohoo! I don't know what we're gonna do with that additional sleeve, but we're gonna do something. All right, we've fully taken off the sleeve, off of the jacket, and we've also cut off the cuff because we'll be adding that back onto the sequence arm later. So uh, we've lined up fold to fold here with the sleeve and the sequence. And then what we're gonna do is make sure to cut around the arm. You're gonna leave about an inch so that you have some room to work with. I don't want my sleeves to be too billowy, so we're gonna keep it pretty close to what this sleeve size is. And then you're going to leave about two inches on the bottom just so you have lots to work with. All right, we've cut both sequence arms. We're getting close.
Okay, so my mom is setting up the sewing machine because I can't say I've ever used an electric sewing machine in my life. So you're gonna get to see this today on camera. And um, yeah, she's the one that's talented at sewing in the family, I can't say I am. I mean, maybe we'll find out that I'm a really good sewer today, we'll see. And you gotta bring it to the back here. And you're going to press that lever down. Okay, we've sewn both sequined arms. So now we're gonna have to put them on to the jean jacket. Let's see how this is gonna look. And bam, one arm down. And why do I keep saying down? Done. <laughs> and bam, one arm done, one arm to go. Oh, it's meant to be splotchy, artistic on the back here. So I'm just making it kind of uneven and I don't want it too dark because I do want some of the blue coming through here. But uh, yeah, I already started and then I'm gonna move on to putting these pockets black and maybe some of the collar black as well. Again, it's not meant to be neat. It's supposed to look painted on, kind of messy. Now we wait about 24 hours for this to fully dry and then I will get to put some cool lyrics on here which I'm super excited about. Okay, so we let the jacket sit out overnight so that it could fully dry. So I wanted to try it on just to show you um, what the final product looks like before I put the lyrics on it. So as you can see, I, I painted the black pockets, I painted the collar and then I also painted the back with um, a painted look so that it has kind of an uneven tone where it's lighter in some spots and darker in spots. So it came out exactly how I wanted it to. So I'm super excited with how that looks. Um, and then now that we let it sit overnight and dry naturally, we also um, used a blow dryer with heat just to set it so that it doesn't come off if you do happen to wash the jacket later. I'm gonna be going home today and then I'll spend some time putting down some lyrics for my song free and then I'll again repeat the steps where I let it sit overnight for close to 24 hours to let it dry naturally and then I'll heat set it with a blow dryer again and then I can start wearing it. Okay, I'm feeling like a refreshed and renewed human again. Thank you so much to my hairdresser, Rose. She always does such a great job with my hair and it feels good to finally get that done. And now I'm gonna head home and finish up the jean jacket. Um, the black paint has definitely had a lot of time to set. So it'll be easy for me now to write on the lyrics with some white paint. And I'll have this customized, really unique jacket ready for my music video, so that's awesome. Um, my mom and I spent a few hours really putting the pieces together and sewing it all together and she's super talented at that. I can't say I am. I haven't spent a lot of time doing that, but it was really cool to work on that with her. And uh, honestly, the part I've been looking forward to the most is putting on the lyrics to the jacket. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now and uh, I'll talk to you when I get home. Okay, I'm home and I've decided to bring the paint and the jacket outside and now it's time to get to work. All right, it's all done. It took a little longer than expected um, just because it's kind of tedious with those brushes and trying to fill out all of the lyrics that I wanted to write down. But I think it turned out pretty good for a first time. I can't say it's perfect, but I do really like it. And I'm super excited to wear it for my music video next week. So I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours 
and then I'll show you the big reveal tomorrow. And I gotta wash this stuff off. Tequila sunrise, lost in the moment, living our best life. Barefoot, glow sticks, Fourth of July, skinny dipping in a full moon, shining, shining, can't stop, won't stop. We were so restless, looking back. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't go away yet. If you enjoyed this episode today, make sure you let me know by giving me a thumbs up. That way I know to create more videos with this kind of style again in the future because your opinion counts and this channel is for you. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to check out my new song, Free. I released it earlier this month with a lyric video, so I'll link it above. Check it out and let me know what you think. It might be the song that you need to hear right now. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, but hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I release my new episodes on new topics every Thursday at 11 a.m. Anyways, that's enough for me for one day. We'll see you again next week. Much love.